We take a look at five bizarre and perhaps a little bit far-fetched energy projects in the making. At number five, Magic Carpet Power. A new multi-million dollar research project is underway to develop tiny solar carpets in order to collect solar power and beam it back to Earth. The whole system will comprise of many greeting card sized solar cells which act in unison to collect power. Now this project can be a game changer for space-based power since it can theoretically utilize billions of solar collectors. And it limits expensive orbital launch costs. At number 4, Lockheed Martin's Fusion Reactor. Fusion is considerably more efficient than our current fission reactors, and it's actually how our sun converts matter into energy, but it's also very difficult to artificially imitate. There are multi-billion dollar collaboration projects dedicated towards fusion research, including the famous ITER project. But Lockheed Martin is trying to shortcut mainstream research and is working on a very ambitious project to build a workable mini-fusion reactor within 10 years. It would produce over 100 megawatts and it can fit on the back of the truck so it would be mobile. But whether a reactor can actually be built is another question. A few other companies have tried to capitalize on this fusion venture, including Tri-Alpha Energy and General Fusion. Both these two firms have considerable financial investment and will also try to build their own fusion reactor. But I'm going to bet on that commercial fusion is still at least a few decades away. At number 3, the Low Energy Nuclear Reaction Project in Tohoku University. Cold fusion theoretically works by fusing atoms into a cathode through electrosis, resulting in excessive heat and ultimately producing power. Now the problem is, is that it's been very difficult to reproduce consistent results which prove this new energy source. Companies like Toyota, Mitsubishi, Nissan and even Technova have contributed some level of research towards cold fusion. And now researchers at Tohoku University are claiming successful production of excess heat in experiments that are apparently still ongoing. And then there's Andre Rossi, which we've probably all heard of if you ever follow Cold Fusion. And he's even offering mini units which you can buy for your house, which are based on this elusive energy reaction. But he's also been surrounded in a lot of controversy. So ultimately I do caution and believe in every company which claims to have this workable device. But one thing's for sure. Cold Fusion is probably not going to go anywhere anytime soon, regardless if it's real or not. Sticking to controversy, we reach number 2, Sun Cell by Brilliant Light Power. Another company has claimed to have found a way to produce sunlight in a bottle. The Sun Cell is very simple and it has no moving parts. It converts water catalytically into a very, very bright light. In return, the light is captured by photovoltaic panels and converted into electricity. According to the company, it's 10% of the cost of other energy resources and could power a house with only 17 liters of water. A 10 watt unit has already been showcased on their YouTube channel, and there are plans to build a 100 kilowatt unit in the very near future. Now, I'm a little bit skeptical of this device, since it does defy our understanding of quantum theory and it proclaims the existence of a hydrogenal state and its affiliation with dark matter. And that's a pretty far out claim. Nevertheless, the device could still have a chance of being real, or it could just be an elaborate arc welder. At number one, we take a look at a potential game changer for building science and sustainability, which is the Windwheel Project. A new icon is being built in Rotterdam, Netherlands, and it will tower into the skyline with a very unique design. The inside rain will house a restaurant, a sky lobby, a hotel, and even apartments, while the towering 570 foot outside rain will have 40 rotating capsules on a giant rotating rail system. But the most impressive thing about the wind wheel is that it will generate its own power from a built in wind turbine which has no moving parts. Now the turbine was only developed on a very small scale just a few years ago. So the wind wheel will be a very challenging project but it also could set a new standard for billions of the future. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video and subscribe to my channel.